Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and this week is Country Night on The Masked Singer, and I figured let's go ahead and go over the trailer, who's performing, and a couple other details before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up, and I am very excited for this, this theme night. Honestly, I love all the theme nights, and I'm wondering if someone's gonna sing Dolly, right? You have to, it is country night. On this episode, the fairy is returning from last week's episode. As a reminder, I already revealed who is under the mask of the fairy. So if you jump onto my YouTube channel and you go back, a f I think maybe Friday, you can go ahead and check out that reveal and let me know if you think I'm right or if you think it's somebody else. With that being said, there's two other contestants coming on the show. It's McCall and Oxalotl. And yes, I can finally pronounce it without saying it wrong. Now, when it comes to the preview video they gave us, I'm gonna play it for you. We're gonna talk about it. Here you go. Fox Wednesday, throw on your boots and saddle up. It's country night. The Masked Singer's going buck wild for the gosh darn cutest costume yet. The Axolotl. The Axolotl. And can this songbird sing? I have a new favorite. <laughs> Plus an unmasking hits down home. This is family right here. You had me. So I don't know if you caught that. Besides everyone looking country, wearing, you know, plaid and all that jazz. Do you notice for the reveal, it's somebody they know. Nick's like, oh, you got me really good. It's someone they know. So who do we think it is? Right? It, it's gotta be somebody. Who? I mean, I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm asking you. Do you know who it is? Oh, I hit my wall. <laughs> uh, so let me know in the comment section, someone close to home. I'm, I'm trying to think who that could be. Is it an old panelist? Is it Joe McHale? I don't know. Joe McHale makes sense because he got that new show on Fox, right? And so far we haven't seen Joel on the show? Uh, I'm just guessing, I'm just totally guessing. With that being said, the only clues we have is for the fairy, and so I figured, let's go over them. She says, making my debut in Sesame Street night makes me feel right at home-ish, because I grew up in these streets. Some might say I'm a bit of a Nepo fairy. I mean, while other kids had allowances, I made my pocket money charging the neighborhood kids to come over and watch my dad hang out at home. So a famous dad. I definitely could have made a more direct route to fame like some of my friends I grew up with, but I chose a more divergent path, prioritizing my education and traveling the world. But eventually it led me back to the limelight of Tinseltown. The visual clues we saw is cleaning, badge, money, panther, basketball, Christmas tree, and rubber ducky. And then the final clue, thanks to the Cookie Monster, was endless love. All those clues add up to one person and I have the pitch correct audio for you. Once again, if you wanna know who it is, go check out my reveal video, but here is the pitch correct audio. Making my debut on Sesame Street night makes me feel right at home-ish. Making my debut on Sesame Street night makes me feel right at home-ish. Cause I grew up in these streets. Some might say I'm a bit of a Nepo fairy. I mean, while other kids had allowances, I made my pocket money charging the neighborhood kids to come over and see my dad just hanging out at home. I definitely could have taken a more direct route to fame, like some of the friends I grew up with. So there you guys go. Are you excited for tomorrow's episode? Remember, you can join me at 7 p.m. for the Masked Singer pre-show live stream where we break down the clues, the episode, and a couple other things that the Masked Singer kind of gives us like an hour or two leading up to the episode. Anyway, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>